that back. Monday is the two-year anniversary of the decision to rip away women's reproductive freedoms in this country through the Dobbs decision made by the Trump Supreme Court. So now, at this moment, my daughter has fewer freedoms than I have had. My two little granddaughters have less freedoms in making their own decisions than I had. This is serious. It's not a sideshow. It's not a side issue. It's a fundamental issue. And since the fall of Roe, they've continued their assault, as we've heard, on access to birth control, to IVF, to severe and total restrictions on abortion. In fact, today, one out of three women of childbearing age live in a state with extreme and dangerous Trump abortion bans. And they want that to be everywhere. That is the goal, whether it's legislatively or by using a hundred-year-old law to try to create a way for Trump to do it administratively. In our state, Michigan, two years ago, we worked really hard. We put together a, a ballot initiative, put it on the ballot to protect our reproductive freedoms in Michigan, to make our own decisions, and it passed. Overwhelmingly, it passed, including creating not only a re-election of our governor, Democratic governor, but for the first time in 40 years, a Democratic House and Democratic Senate. Why? People wanted to make sure those freedoms were protected, and the state laws were changed, and it became very clear. So people in Michigan think we're okay. But unfortunately, with a national abortion ban or Donald Trump reelected and doing something administratively, we're not okay. Nobody's okay in this country. Not one state, whether you're in a state that has state laws or a state constitu constitution protecting your freedoms, or whether you're in a state that does not. The reality is that none of that will matter. And every woman in every state is at risk. So this is an hands, all-hands-on-deck moment. My colleagues and I have been working with President Biden and Vice President Harris to protect our reproductive freedoms. And that's why, frankly, we have been holding the votes that Senator Schumer talked about in terms of the right to birth control. can't believe I'm saying that in 2024, the right to birth control in our country, uh, the right to IVF to start or expand your family. And they have stopped us at every step. And now we're going to see. The next vote will be on protecting the basic reproductive freedoms for women in this country. And we'll see where they stand. For us, we know where we stand. Democrats are working every day to defend our freedom to make decisions about our own health. Not a politician. Not a judge. The women of this country should have the freedom to make our own decisions about our own health, our lives, and our futures. And we're not going to give up until we have those freedoms fully protected.